All right, so good afternoon once again. So when Six Sigma was introduced in the global market, a lot of large companies in all corners of the world went crazy because of its promise of increasing competitiveness, improving your customer satisfaction, and at the same time, making your bottom line healthier. When they applied it, some of the organizations, some of the organizations really um, got the passive results of, Im of deploying the, the Six Sigma. They, they, they had that passive results of increasing the survival probability and superiority in the market. On the other hand, we've also heard some companies that are using the Six Sigma philosophy, yet they are on the verge of poor performance. So we need to be very cognizant of our blind side. We need to go back to the fundamentals of why are we doing the business and why are we really operating the business. That is to serve and to satisfy our customers, to really create customers. You may have the best process or you may have the best foolproof process in the world, but unfortunately, there is no button inside your mini tab or inside your Visio or inside your any statistical softwares or project management tools that you can click that can make your customers and employees engage. Let me present to you my agendas. I will start with some statistics and I will proceed with the world of customer centricity and how we can really build that culture of continuous improvement. And we will go back to that cycle and we will end up with our number one priority, our customers. So it's all about customers. But don't worry guys, I won't present any complex frameworks or models in my presentation. I will make it as simple as possible so that it, it can be some sort of, can be oper operationalized on your end. Let's take a look at this. So this is this study partnered and conducted by Harris Interactive. And right now, uh, this is the study from the 2011 Customer Experience Impact Report. One of the findings was if the customers really like the experience in dealing with the organizations, 86% of them will pay 25% more. Same thing with us. If we go to the movie house and we really love the experience of watching, and that's a combination of the couch and the food and the flick that we are watching, most probably we're going to say it's more than enough. Or in Filipi Filipino expression, sulit na sulit. 